Thank you, streamers. They put up with a lot of stuff for the sake of the game. All right. Right now, looks like we got uh, Jalen. Haven't seen him in a while. I think he went to Korea for a bit. At least according to his Twitter. Came back with a fresh haircut, fresh hair dye. Looking good. And now I believe that's Porkai. Yeah. So Porkai versus Jalen. Jalen rock the snake. Porkai going with the wolf. Oh, great little custom combo right there by Jalen. And guys, I'm really curious, what's your opinion on Wolf? Because a lot of the top players have been like, oh, yo, this character is looking mad overrated these days. And I'm of the camp of saying, the character's still solid. The character's still really good. I don't know about overrated. I feel like people are putting him right where he should be. But, you know, I just want to get y'all's opinion. Right now, though. The snake is looking like he's going to need quite a bit of help because the ledge pad was moving from Torkai. Ooh, was looking great until that. Sometimes, when you're moving so much, sometimes you forget about the little things like uh, C4, or grenade, or explosives, or saw snakes, war crimes, you know? And nice little pickup right there by poor guy, evening up the stock count. And Jalen doing a good job of retiring with Snake's um, dash attack. His arms are intangible, so people do kind of forget that. You can kind of run up on people if they start disrespecting your zone. Okay, Jalen up there without a jump, and oh man, that's the second time in a row. You, I guess you just can't double jump on Jalen. You're either going to see forward or grenade traded into oblivion. That stinks, man. And now Jalen's getting extra credit. He already passed the test. He was looking to end it all with that down smash. I feel like snakes aren't really down smashing him though. People were doing it a lot maybe six months ago. But it's an option that people are starting to forget about. Oh, yep, we saw it last step. We can't shield that. We can't shield that. Get out of there. Oh, he's stuck though. And he can't really. Oh, uh, yeah, you air dodge yourself into Oblivion. Yeah, if you had, like, neutral air dodge and ro rode your drift into the um, ledge, you might have been fine. But it was a sticky situation to be in, no pun intended. Yeah. Yami Yugi, I mostly agree, but uh, Wolf sometimes is not honest. That down smash in that back air, that's, that is not honest. Uh, decent perversion. Uh, Jalen got a stick on poor guy, and yeah, it was pretty much all, you all, all she wrote. Here we go, game number two. Running right back, PS2. Lego. Oh, also, something I've been kind of thinking about is like, are there any practical uses for cross camps in this game? Because Jalen's been crouching a lot, and right there, um, he got, or he was crouching, got hit by Wolf Nair, and still got grabbed afterwards. So, um, is there a situation where it's useful? I don't know. Oh, great little Nair come through. And Jalen committing hard with that um, down smash again. He hasn't been finding much off of it in this set, but I feel like later on the bracket, He'll probably have to use it a lot, especially if he runs into ZD. Back throw. All right, Nikita. Great air dodge by the poor guy. But wow, he still had time to do that. Interesting. But Jalen finding every opening he can. That's why he's one of the better snakes in the region. Actually, I would say he's the best. Yeah, he's the best snake in the region. You can have me on that one. Well, yeah, I get that he's crouching for, like, the laser attempts, but I was wondering if, like, crouch canceling has any practical usage. Not necessarily in this matchup, but, like, in this game. Oh, that back air killed him. Yeah, nice. Even the sour spot was enough. All right, I'm crouching under the laser again. That time, it looks like poor guy hit him with a dash attack. It was really hard to tell. Oh, 
Uh oh, this is bad. But Jalen kind of covering his tracks with that uh, grenade. Smart stuff. But you can't cover everything up till it's gonna find the mark. Bada bing, bada boom. That was actually a really good down smash attempt by Jalen right there. If it connected, that would have been the stock, even at that percent. Now, poor guy turning up. Getting that back air. Snake's off stage without a jump. Cast to recover high. And he's going to get back aired yet again. All right, what's the mix up this time? Just go to the ledge? I agree. Yeah, get out of there. And this is this is Jalen's endgame strat. He can just trade with grenades until um, poor guy's at high percent. And yeah, that back air. Woo, baby. That hurt. For a heavyweight on Snake to die sub 120, that was huge. Uh-oh. And poor guy clawing his way back in there. Jalen DIing in on that uh, forward air. It's one of those rare instances, instances where DIing in on forward air will actually save your life. Poor guy holding center stage until that forward tilt. Nikita. Yes, you can up you through. And you were almost so smart there, but you might be dead, but now you're definitely dead. Jalem taking it 2-0. Off of a nail-biter recovery, but that's how the cookie crumbles.